A few days ago, we had the Mini Cooper JCW and we showed its sporty and performance side by pitting it against one of its competitors, the RS245 from Skoda. Check it out. And if you have already checked it out, you should remember that Soham said that this shouldn't be your first car and only car because the ride is too harsh and it's too difficult to make your daily chores. Well, I think differently. Welcome to the Drivers Hub. This is Bhavneet Vaswani and this is the 2022 Mini Cooper JCW. I'm here to put it through some tests and to prove to you that buying this makes sense. Okay, so we currently are in Navi Mumbai and we have some work in Bandra. Uh, Google auntie says 50 minutes. It is uh, 12.33 as you can see and uh, today we are going to play my favorite game. Let's see if we can beat Google auntie, yeah? We quickly figured out the inner roads of Vashi and joined the Vashi bridge to get on with our journey. Till then I started to explain some of the changes and differences between this facelifted Cooper and the previous one. Now the all new mini JCW inside is not as new as you think it would be. It still has the 2-litre turbo 4 pot that produces around 230 bhp and uh, 350 newton meters of torque. Now while driving in the beautiful city of Mumbai, the way that the Mini JCW delivers its power is just extraordinary. There's more than enough power and torque to overtake buses in the middle lane, tempos, taxis and all that stuff. But it's also beautifully assisted by this 8-speed Steptronic transmission. Put it in sport mode and you will be giggling your life out by the sound of the crackers and the beautiful of the beautiful blow off valve. This car just makes you feel like a nine year old. The Cooper JCW is a very good daily driver if you gloss over the fact that the suspension is rock solid. The suspension has barely any travel and isn't comfortable in any way. If you are in your 40s and 50s, this might be a serious deal breaker for you if you are considering this to be your only car. But if you have a back made of steel, go for it. Because apart from that aspect, the car is an absolute cruiser. On the highway, we put the car in green mode and on cruise control. We were able to extract around 13 kmpl including stop-go traffic. The exhaust becomes super subtle and the car lets you cruise at ease apart from the unavoidable potholes that break your back. The turning radius isn't bad for a car of this type and the drivability of the vehicle is just as good as any other hatchback in the city. Now Google Auntie had given us a time of 57 minutes to reach and with the Cooper's remarkable ability to munch miles with its easy to use cruise control and relatively compact dimensions, we reached our destination at 1.20 p.m., which is almost 10 minutes earlier than the ETA. Mini 1, Google 0. Now, as the name suggests, the Mini Cooper, there should be an essence of Mini in the car. Now, of course, in the coming years and in, with the evolution of the car, the car has become bigger and bigger, so less Mini and more Maxi. But to put it to the test, let's just find a really tight parking spot and then just shove it in and see how easy it is to put it in. If that is the case, then big dub. If it's not the case, then... Okay, so we have found a parking spot. We are just going to indicate that we're going to park. And I'm going to reverse it in like a pro. Because you know why? You've got uh, cameras in the rear, which... Uh, Sense your parallel park. Sh they show you in the camera your 360 degree. Honestly, I thought this parking spot was going to be tight. I don't even need to redo it. Perfect. So after all, the Mini is quite Mini.
as you can see from our highly scientific test, the Mini is actually quite an eye-catchy car. Even though it has the dimensions of a hatchback, it seems as if a 9-year-old has been let loose on the car's design because of the wild design cues it has. Just look at the spoiler, those racing stripes and all the red accents around the car. It definitely attracts loads of attention. Since this is the 2022 JCW, Mini have done some subtle tweaks to the design. It gets a refreshed and more angry front bumper like the one you get in the Mini Cooper GP3. A revised rear bumper and this Mini had the black pack which means all of the chrome bits were blacked out. Definitely a looker this one. But here is where you would want to spend most of your time. You get a brand new 8.8 inch display and around the 8.8 inch display you get this really nice band of ambient light which if you find the right settings you can actually make that your rev band. You come with, it comes with Apple CarPlay and uh, I feel like the new display is a bit more intuitive and the party piece of the 2022 JCW is this, the digital instrument cluster. You get a digital screen in the middle, to your left you get a tachometer and to your right you get a fuel gauge. This is classic mini and uh, now that I'm already in the interior, it's the perfect segue to my next test. How many dudes can I fit into this car? Let's see. I have zero newspaper. Should I take you for a drive? Look at no. this. Yes. Look at this. Business. Yes. <laughs> yeah, na? Yes. Now that no. they're stuck over there. No, no. AC on car na Ah, start the damn AC. How bad is it? How bad is it behind? I am fine, honestly. It's, it's not, not that I can bad. go to one hour on this. Are you actually comfortable? You should I just it's drive to Pune? It's not bad. It's not How far would you come? See, if you 10, 15, you know, that's it. Space. Hey, do you think? Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, from our highly scientific test, we observed that actually the Mini isn't that bad when it comes to the rear cabin space. Maybe three people in the back is a bit too much, but two people can easily survive a 30-40 minute journey around those back seats. Well, all in all, if you want a car to reach places faster, travel with your friends and go to clubs in and around town, a car that looks stylish getting out of and well, most important of them all, find a place to park it easily in a city such as Mumbai where parking is scarce, this Mini Cooper JCW for the price of 45.5 lakhs X showroom should definitely be on top of the options you've made to buy a car. Hope you like this video, share it with your friends, like the video and subscribe to the Drivers Hub. I'm Bhavneet Baswani and I'll be seeing you soon in the next one.